Just across the waterway, a new motion could complicate plans to build a new home for the struggling Grand Strand Humane Society. There is Julia Richardson, who is joining us now in the studio to break down the latest holdup and also tell us how both sides feel about this issue. Tell us more, Julia. Well, Eric and Rachel, Horry County Councilman Gary Loftus is requesting an overlay of the land the Humane Society is set to build on that would block the plot from housing animal services in the future. The GSHS has been searching for a new and permanent building for years and claims it quite literally can't afford to see another delay. It's definitely frustrating to feel like we're continuing to take the right steps and we seem to continue to be met with opposition. Another obstacle in the Humane Society's long journey to finding a new home. Although Santee Cooper gifted the organization 10 acres of land earlier this year off of Waterside Drive, the plan sparked pushback from residents, some of whom are worried about animals barking, traffic, and more. Loftus shares those concerns with the people he represents, telling me the land grant has blindsided both him and them. The Humane Society is, is irritated. They're irritated. They're irritated for not telling us where they were going until now. After we passed the resolution, it's very nonspecific. I mean, that thing, that thing could have been a little river. We did not know where it was or anything like that. Council member Michael Mascarelli, on the other hand, tells me he thinks this should have been settled months ago. The property had already been zoned light industrial, which permits that use. In my mind, that should have been the end of the conversation right there. It's permitted, and if Santee Cooper wants to give it to them to, to help the animals, then, then that's their right. GSHS Executive Director Jess Winook says the organization has already put a lot of time and money into the new facility and she finds the request both surprising and concerning, not just for herself, but for all Horry County residents. Even folks that may not be concerned about Grand Strand Humane Society and our project should be concerned that this is even a discussion. This sets a very, very dangerous precedence for anyone that owns land in Horry County, that the county might be able to come in and tell you what you can do with your land. And Loftus tells me the potential overlay will be on the next Infrastructure and Regulation Committee agenda. Live in the studio, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.